Hi everyone, welcome back to The Crafty Author. My name is Anissa and I am The Crafty Author. And today we are going to be making something really fun and easy. I made one of these for my grandson at Christmas time um, to put some little toys and things that I had made for him, or not toys that I had made, but toys that I had purchased for him. Um, and so I made him a little bag that I put underneath the Christmas tree, which he absolutely loved because he knew it was for him. Um, I made his out of the Avengers, the superheroes. So it had the Hulk and Iron Man and all those guys on him. So anyway, he loved it. But anyway, what we're going to make are these adorable little drawstring bags. Now, this is one that I made... Um, and you can, here's the little, the little strings. You can use ribbon. You can use whatever you want for the, the poles. Um, I made this one and you can see it's fully lined. Okay. I did this one for, um, my cords, my cords for my, um, my iPad and also for my phone. Um, and the reason that I did that was because, I have a lot of cords <laughs> and I seem to lose them all the time or I get them mixed up with my husband and my son because we all have kind of the same the same um, electronic devices here in the house. Uh, there is no mistake in whose uh, bag this is because it's pretty girly and it looks like a chick owns it. So, <laughs> so if it's in this bag, it belongs to me. Um, so I also put my, my stuff in little cases and, um, stickers and things like that with Hello Kitty and I, you know, I girl everything out, glitter, you know how I am, right? So that's what I do. So this is what we're going to make today. Now, this one was made, um, out of a layer cake. So I had two 10 by 10 pieces of fabric for this. And then I had two 10 by 10 pieces of fabric for this uh, green polka dot fabric. And then I just kind of cut the string, this, the really cute little ribbons here. I just cut that, um, I just kind of eyeballed it and guessed. And I got this from the Dollar Tree, actually. So... That, I think I did a tutorial on a haul or something where I actually got this ribbon. I'm not sure. Anyway, but this is what we're going to make today. So I'm going to show you. My son has some new earbuds that he has and he continually loses things and there's no case for them. He is a huge wrestling fan. So I'm going to be making him one out of some of this leftover wrestling fabric that I have for him. Um, I'm also going to line it with the same fabric. So everything is going to be the same. Okay. There's not going to be any difference there. Um, I cut this six by six, actually six and a half by six and a half, um, and included the seam allowance in that. So I'm going to show you how we make this little pouch on a smaller scale. And this is the ribbon that we're going to use for his. It's a little bit thinner, more masculine, I think, actually. Um, and we are going to get started. Okay, so we're going to get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my two squares and I am going to place them together. Uh, right sides facing each other. And I am going to try and be mindful of the, that it is a directional fabric, but if I don't remember that for the lining piece, I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay, so that's going to be, I believe, my outer piece. And then here is also my inner piece, my lining pieces. And I'm just going to go ahead and put those together as well. This process is very, very simple. So, I'm just using some clips, some quilting clips to hold the fabric together to keep it nice and even. So, for the top one, 
And I am actually sewing on my Janome Memory Craft 11,000 because I was able to get the feet for it, like I was telling you on Sewing Talk Tuesday. So I'm excited to be sewing on this. Um, I am going to be sewing all the way around. Okay, so here, here I'm gonna leave the top open, okay? This whole top part I'm gonna leave open. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, drop my presser foot, drop my needle, and I'm gonna start sewing. I'm just using my all-purpose foot for this so I'm not even using my quarter inch foot so let's see let's trim the threads so my top piece is done and you can see that I've sewn all the way around and I have gone ahead and left this opening if I can open it. My hands are dry from washing them so much. So much hand washing, I tell you. Don't want to be sick. All right. So the next one, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to sew all the way down. I'm going to sew all the way around. And then I'm going to sew on this end and I'm going to leave an opening probably from here to about there. So maybe, I don't know, two, two and a half inches. And then I'm gonna sew all the way up the rest. You wanna make sure that you have an opening because that is where we are going to, um, that's where we'll flip our lining. continue on Alrighty. so I will show you here in a second after I trim my threads threads to trim because I didn't use the cutter um you can see that I have left this opening right here on the side all right and also this is the opening up at the top so you want to have an opening at the top and you should have an opening on the side next what you want to do is you want to take the piece that you actually sewed all the way around so the side that does not have the opening on this side and you're going to flip it inside out so you'll have your right side showing and i'm just going to kind of press out my seam here with my finger just to straighten it and flatten it out just a tad you don't have to do this this is just what i like to do it just helps make life a little easier i'm going to use my screwdriver also to kind of push this out carefully otherwise i'll poke a hole um normally i would use my trusty chopstick as you all know but i don't have it nearby so i'm gonna make do with what we've got so this part is finished all right so now what I'm going to do is I am going to take and I am going to put my finished part 
right sides together. It is right sides together. I really had to think about that for a second. I don't want to give you the wrong information. So you can see there's one right side. That's my uh, outer, my lining side, and this is my inner side also. So you should have both nice sides facing each other. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the side seam right there. And I just press them with my fingers flat and then I line them up like so, so that both sides are lined up together, as you can see, okay? And then I just take a clip and I clip that in place. And I also do that for the other side. So I'm just gonna do that. And I just take my time and just kind of make sure that those are flattened out again, as you can see. And then you can see on this side as well. So I know that those seams are gonna line up. And this is going to make it a whole lot easier for me to go around the rest of this now and just kind of straighten it out. So you want to have these even, you know, with each other, especially because you're going to sew along this top part. And these clips come in really handy for this. If you don't have clips, you can use pins. Okay. If you're interested in these quilt clips that I am using, I got this with the tin can and the little clips inside of them for six dollars on amazon i believe they're ten dollars now and i have them in my store so if you're interested in them you can actually get them there i don't sell them but i do link to the seller that i did buy them from so now i'm going to go ahead and put this on my sewing machine and i am going to sew up at the top of what we just clipped and I'm just gonna start sewing that and attaching it that way. And you do wanna be careful not to uh, sew the other the pieces of your bag into this because that's very, very easy to do. That's a different view that will help you to see what I'm doing a little bit better. little threads and now you have something that looks like this okay so now you have this and what you're going to do is you're going to take the part that you had opened that you left open and you are going to reach in and you're going to start pulling your stuff through there, everything through there, okay? It will feel a little strange doing that when you first do it but you're doing it right. So you gotta pull it through that hole, that opening that you left open. That is very, very important. And again, I'm gonna use my little screwdriver because I don't have my chopstick. Okay. But be careful with whatever you're using. You don't wanna poke holes in your project, all right? 
And then what I'm going to do is now that that is right there, that opening is there, I'm going to pull it taut, just pull it tight. You can pin, you can press, you can do whatever you want. I'll probably just go ahead and take one of these little clips and, and clip this so that I know that it will stay clipped. And I'm going to just seal this up now. And... Uh, So as you can see, I have gone ahead and I have sewn up and closed that opening that we had. All right. So everything is good. Now, what you want to do next is you're going to take your, your project. This is your lining piece. So remember, that's going to go inside. So I'm going to open mine up. And then I'm going to just push that lining inside of my little bag. And you're gonna have to kind of work with it and finagle it and push the little corners in and, and whatnot, but you'll be able to feel it with your fingers. You just wanna kind of push, push everything in there, make sure it's nice and snug and fitting in there very nicely. Now, at this point, you could take it over to an iron and you could press it, which may not be a bad idea. So this is what you have, okay? And this is what your lining should look like inside too. Now, remember mine was directional, so I purposely did it this way. So now I'm going to take my clips and I'm going to clip around. Now, this is kind of an optional thing um, but I really want this to lay, I really want this to lay down right. So I went ahead and I ironed it flat, as you can see. So now it's laying a lot nicer for me. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to do a top stitch all the way around the top now. Okie dokie. We are done. As you can see that I went ahead and I did that row of top stitching just right here, just to hold this down. I'm using a half an inch and all I'm doing is lining up my half inch mark on that seam line. That's it, just right here, boom, half inch, okay? And then I'm gonna take a chalk pencil since I'm using a darker fabric And I'm just going to mark this. Right here. And you can barely see it, but you can see it enough. And I can see it, so that's what matters, is I'll be able to see that. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side you're going to do the half inch and just line it up on that seam that you just created with the the line usually when i'm working with a little bit lighter fabric i'll use a darker pin it makes it a whole lot easier to see it but for here since this is so dark it'll be okay and I'm going to make sure I've got that on here and the sides as well. Okay, so after I do that, then I come down because I need to be able to make the opening for my little string and I just come down an inch. So one inch from where you just made your chalk mark. Okay. Okay, all I'm going to do is I'm going to start sewing on that first line that we created with the chalk. Just going to press it down. And start sewing on that last stitch. Right there. And as 
I get to where my scene is. I'm at corner scene. I'm going to backstitch. And you won't understand why. In just a minute. That is the one that we just did right there. Okay, that stitching. Now we're going to come down and we are going to start stitching along this right here. Looks like I made it. I was a little bit off. My son won't care. <laughs> it's for his earbuds, but it's okay. Um, yeah. All right. So here, I'll show you. You can see where I screwed up and went crooked. It's okay. I don't care. Okay. So this is what I use mine for. I thought I would just show you what I use mine for really quick. Um, like I told you, I use them for my phone chargers. So like I have all of these chargers, like this is a portable one that I use, um, for travel. And then I have, instead of just having them laying around on the kitchen counter, like they mostly do in this basket that I have, I've decided to kind of just put them in here. So I just, this is like for my iPad and this goes to my phone, you know, that way if I ever need a plug, I know where they're at. So I just kind of put them all in here in this little bag. And they're all in the one spot. I know I have a ton of cords, you guys. You wouldn't even believe the amount of stuff I have, <laughs> especially for video stuff um, and editing. But anyway, so there's that. And then when I'm done, I just go like this, boom. And they're all together in this little pouch. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do is how to do the little pouch thing. All right. So we've gone ahead and we have pulled that seam apart. You just want to pick that one seam apart. Then we're going to take this safety pin. It's pinned on to the end of the uh, ribbon or whatever it is that you're going to use. And now we are going to go in put this safety pin and insert it where we opened up that seam. And we're just gonna push it through. You're just gonna push along the safety pin and then pull. You can push the safety pin and pull. And you can see it's coming out that other end right there, but I don't want it to. I actually want to go all the way back around to where we started. So that is what I'm doing here. Okay. So now I'm back to where we started and I'm just gonna pull that out. And I have a knot on the end of it, so it's a little bit tougher. There we go. All righty. So we've got one end done. Now we could stop here if we wanted to. We could stop here and we could use this as a pull and then it would be fine, but we're not doing it that way. So <clears throat> the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the other side and I'm going to put the safety pin again through that knotted area that I have here. Ouch. Be careful not to stab yourself with the safety pin. It doesn't feel good. And then I'm going to start on the opposite end that doesn't have this. I will start here. And I will start pushing the safety pin through and pull just as we did before, okay? And now we're gonna go past both of these. And I'm just gonna push my ribbon past that. 
And because I have a knot there, it might be a little bit tough, but I'm just gonna push it and pull it like that. And then I'm gonna come to the end again on this end and I'm gonna pull it through. All right. Looks good. So this side, both of these are tied. So I don't need to do anything with that. But this one, I just need to tie a little knot at the edge here at the end so that it doesn't come, come undone. And now look, if I pull it, voila. I have this awesome little pouch. So this is what my hut, my husband, sorry, my son is gonna put his earbuds in here. So this way he won't lose them because he is notorious for losing them. But now he's got his own little pouch for his earbuds and voila, it's done makes awesome storage. So that's what we have. We have little pouches today. They're so fun to make and they're like so easy and they're so cute and I love them. And I really especially like the lined ones just because I think it just gives it a little bit of character and whatnot. So anyway, this one is mine. This one is my son's and um, it turned out adorable even though I Messed up the stitching. We won't tell anybody, right? Shh, it's our secret. <laughs> anyway, that is it. That is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to follow me on social media, the links are down below in the description box. Um, if you're interested in these little clips, those are also down in the description box in my Amazon store. If you purchase through any of those links, I do make a small commission and everything that I make does go back into this channel to help buy supplies and whatnot. Uh, don't forget to like this video and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share because sharing is caring and don't forget to subscribe. If you click the little bell, you'll get notified each and every time that I upload a new video. Um, I have several playlists that are available for you. So if you are interested in bag making, I have stuff for bags. I have stuff for quilts. I have a playlist for rag quilts. I have playlists for crickets, uh, cricket stuff. So if you're interested, check all of those things out. And um, that is it. Keep on crafting. I will see you guys next time. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.